This display shows the SIMS Climate Digest for July 2015, featuring highlights from the U.S. and global analysis products issued each month by NOAA. The Climate Digest conveys a visual interpretation of recent weather and climate conditions worldwide. July 2015 was the warmest July on record, with a combined average global land and ocean temperature at 1.46 degrees Fahrenheit or 0.81 degrees Celsius above the 20th century average. Global regions contributing to the warm July included most of Europe, Central Asia, Eastern South America, and parts of the Middle East and Eastern Africa. Western Russia and Scandinavia were the only notable regions that recorded below normal temperatures. Warm waters of the West Pacific Ocean contributed to the formation of Typhoon Nenka on July 3rd, which later made landfall in Japan, causing flooding rains and two fatalities. In Australia, a significant cold outbreak occurred in the middle of July, resulting in widespread snowfall over parts of New South Wales and Queensland. Record warm temperatures were observed at the beginning and end of July, keeping the overall temperatures just above the monthly average. Regions of Scandinavia and the United Kingdom began the month with record-breaking temperatures. However, as the month progressed, weather patterns changed and easterly winds brought cold air off the Atlantic Ocean, keeping the region below normal for the month of July. Two extreme heat waves dominated the weather across Europe. In the Netherlands, records were broken with temperatures above 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius. Many cities in Austria also observed temperatures above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Countrywide, Austria was 5 degrees Fahrenheit above normal, making it the warmest July on record. The average temperature for Africa was the second highest for July on record, with regional record warmth across much of eastern Africa. The record warmth extended into the Middle East as temperatures reached 115 degrees Fahrenheit or 46 degrees Celsius. South America also experienced above normal temperatures during July, with some locations experiencing record-breaking warmth. For the continent, July 2015 was the fifth warmest July ever recorded. In North America, the average U.S. temperature for July was 73.9 degrees Fahrenheit, or two-tenths above the 20th century average, resulting in the month ranking near the median. No state in the contiguous U.S. set a record for temperature in July, neither hot or cold. However, Alaska had its second warmest July on record. Above-average precipitation was experienced for much of the U.S. in July, partly due to the remnants of Hurricane Dolores that brought heavy rains to Southern California, Nevada, and New Mexico. California, for instance, had its second wettest July on record. Greater-than-normal precipitation was also observed in the Ohio Valley, where the state of Kentucky had its wettest July on record. Drought conditions worsened across the Pacific Northwest and in parts of the Southeast, in spite of heavy rains across Southern California, 46% of that state remains in exceptional drought. According to the U.S. Drought Monitor, 27% of the contiguous U.S. was in drought at the beginning of August, contributing to the above-normal number of wildfires in the West and Northwest. This real-time data set shows sea surface temperature anomalies for July measured by NOAA satellites. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal ocean temperatures, and red indicates warmer than normal ocean temperatures. For the oceans, the July global sea surface temperature was 1.35 degrees Fahrenheit or 0.75 degrees Celsius above the 20th century average of 61.5 degrees Fahrenheit, the highest departure not only for July but for any month on record. According to NOAA's Climate Prediction Center, strong El Nino conditions were present during July 2015 there is a greater than 90% chance that El Nino will continue into the Northern Hemisphere winter and an 85% chance it will last into spring 2016. This real-time data set collected by microwave sensors on NOAA satellites shows snow and ice cover updated daily. Watch the progression of days and note the retreat and expansion of snowfall. The July 2015 sea ice extent for the Arctic was 9.5% below the 1981-2010 average, which is the eighth smallest July sea ice extent since satellite records began in 1979. Finally, we'll move to the Antarctic, where July 2015 was 3.8% above the 1981-2010 average, the fourth largest sea ice extent on record for the month of July.
And that's your July 2015 Climate Digest. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video.